two, and I'm back with another visual from your boy original. Make sure you like, your comment, your share, and your subscribe. All is greatly appreciated. <laughs> out of commission for about a month and i'm sorry but i felt like i had to reel back on the sneaker stuff and really focus on my cutting of the hair for those who don't know i am a barber and i've been trying to push barbering and the sneaker thing at the same time but i love sneakers i love clothes i've been doing that for a long time probably third grade it was where it all started so i felt like i should fall back on the gear and all that for a little bit and focus on my my passion which is cutting hair and I'm, I've been getting, I've been getting better and better. Videos are coming soon. Stay tuned for that. But anyway, as you can see right here, we got the Green Bean Fives. The last time we seen this release was 2006. I'm sorry I did not give you this video when it dropped, and it's been so long. I've had these for over a month now. I even, I even forgot when they released. I'll get back to you on that. But anyway, in this video, as well as all my other videos, we will be discussing colorway, quality, and if you should grab them or not. Let's start with the colorway. So with the colorway we have here, on the outer sole, we have a icy back heel, we have a gray forefoot with the Jordan words imprinted, and we have an icy, icy sole at the top as well, with the green bean jumpman, green bean color jumpman under the icy sole. Continuing on to the midsole, we have a dark, gray rubber midsole we have those iconic shark teeth in green bean green all fives have those shark teeth guys continuing on to the medial and lateral side and toe box we have a 3m material throughout the whole colorway of this shoe so when i throw the light on it we get that reflective glow which is fire i really dig that the whole shoe is 3m you know what i'm saying so they fire in that aspect continuing on to the tongue we have a icy cage on our tongue we have gray laces our tongue is in gray and our jump man is in that green bean green Continuing on to the back heel, we have the green bean, green jump man on the back, and the insole where you place your foot is also in that green bean, green. I got a good ring to it. Green bean, green. I like that. We have our lace lock in clear with the green bean, green lace lock. Behind our tongue, we have the words that read Air Jordan and green bean, green with the white patch. So the colorway to this joint right here is gas. I think these are fire in my personal opinion. What do you guys think? Comment down below what you think about the colorway of the green bean fives. These are fire, man. I'm happy I did not sleep. I'm sorry I couldn't get this video out to you earlier for those who wanted a, a video to see how to rock. Well, I'm sorry about that. I'm really sorry, but appreciate that I'm trying to build my craft. You feel what I'm saying? I was I was stuck between pushing sneakers and doing haircuts that I had to fall back on this, but I'm back now. I'm back in full effect, ayo dongas. But anyway, colorway, I'm writing these a seven out of 10. I will be rocking these. I am doing an on foot segment to show you, switch some jeans up, show you what they look like and all that. So stay tuned for that. But the colorway, I'm giving these a seven out of ten. Let's start with the let's start with the quality. So the quality here is quite standard. I know back in 2006 when these released, my god brother had them. Shout out Damian Daniels, man. Yo, Dame, shout you. I'm shouting you out, man, because a lot of a lot of the way I am today is influenced by you, Brody. So yeah. But anyway, he had these back in 2006, and I noticed that they creased up back. So the quality on these, I'm giving it standard. My man at work. The owner of the barbershop where I work at, he has these as well. And he wore them one time and I seen a big crease. But anyway, let's start at the outer sole with the quality. We have a standard quality on the outer sole. We have our normal rubber sole, rubber on our forefoot. Continuing on, our midsole is in that same rubber. 
On our medial, lateral, and toe box area throughout the whole shoe, we have a 3M material. It's not mesh, it's not stretchable, it's just like a 3M. It's kind of, it has like a plasticky feel, not plastic, but I wish I had a better definition of what we have here on these shoes. Just know guys, that these are gonna crease like crazy. There's something about the 3M material that when you wear them, they crease crazy. Anyway, continuing on to the tongue and the side panel, we have this icy cage. This icy cage you see here on the side panel is also on the tongue. We have our gray flat rope laces. We have our 3M tongue. We have that green bean green Jordan Jumpman stitched. So quality to the green bean five, because they're gonna crease like crazy. And for me, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, when a shoe starts creasing, man, it's time to put it up. I don't know if y'all feel the same, but when a shoe creases, only certain shoes, like Jordan 1s and stuff like that, I can appreciate the creasing. It doesn't look as bad on a Jordan 1. But on a Jordan 5, I ain't jacking that, guys. I don't like that. But anyway, I'm gonna I'm a rate these, uh, when it comes to quality, I'm gonna rate these a five out of 10. And I'm not blaming Jordan, I'm not blaming anyone. It's just the 3M material does not hold up well when it's being bent up over and over throughout walking and stuff like that. If you guys can feel what I'm trying to say. But anyway, should you cop? Should you cop the Green Bean 5? I think you should. I just checked StockX. I just checked StockX for prices now, all right? StockX, you gotta get, you gotta, you got some explaining to do, StockX. Are you selling fakes or not? Because you got a lot of people over here spending a lot of money on your website and we need to know. Is they fake or not, man? But anyway, I think you should come. I think I checked, I checked a few weeks ago and they were below retail. I don't know about now. If they are, I'll throw it up for you. But anything below retail, jump on it. Cause we don't know when the, when the price will skyrocket again. Like I told you guys in all my previous videos, this shoe could be below retail, right? And then all it takes for, for Kanye West to wear this. And how much is it after Kanye West wears it? exactly guys so anything below retail that you really want jump on it because we don't know what will happen in the future with these celebrities and all these shoes that release are based on how they're doing in hollywood and all that it's, it's about who's wearing the shoe you know what i'm saying so plan what you want accordingly these are a fire pickup and it's a steal if you get them below retail so yeah you should cop cop these joints but like I said, guys, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for being out of the loop for almost for a month, almost a month and a half. I'm so angry that I didn't drop a whole a video one time in June. Not once did I drop a video, but I won't do that again. I'm sorry, guys. But like I told you, my haircutting at, in, the, in June was more important. It was more important than sneakers itself. And I had and I, I'm happy where I'm at, but just focusing on what I do every day, which is cut hair, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, cop them, they fire. <clears throat> I'm gonna throw them on with some jeans, show you what they look like on feet, stay tuned for that. Thank you for rocking with me, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you like, you comment, you share, and you subscribe. All is greatly appreciated, man. I really appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Thank you.